what is going on ladies and gentlemen horcrux here and welcome to the channel so in this video i will be showcasing you guys my personal pvp tier list for the fire song dlc of what classes are absolutely crushing the meta and uh what classes need a little love so let's get into it And before we hop into the bread and butter of this video, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat. The support you guys provide is absolutely amazing. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And guys, for real, if you're struggling with PvP, whether it be a rotation, build, class setup, skill steps, what sets to use, what races to run, literally anything, I got you. By becoming a YouTube member or a Patreon supporter, you get access to everything I just mentioned, as well as shoutouts in each and every single one of my videos, and you also get access to one-on-one -on -one PvP coaching. So if any of that sounds interesting to you and you want to help support the channel, everything is down in the description below. Now let's get into the video. All right, so let's get cracking. Now let me preface this tier list by saying this is my own personal opinions. I do a little bit of everything, so I'm going to base this tier list off of literally every PvP scenario. It's going to be solo 1VX, it's going to be group play, serial, battlegrounds, as well as dueling. Now again, this is my personal opinions. Your opinions may differ. Actually, I encourage you to have different opinions so you can leave a comment and kind of you know help promote the uh the youtube algorithm thereof so with all that being said uh, let's hop into this thing guys so there is not a lot of changes from the last patch i'm just gonna go ahead and say it because zoss has taken a very hands-off approach to this patch and uh it killed it um there's a lot of changes that need to be reverted and uh they just weren't so uh here we go the very first class is going to be the magic of dragon knights i'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys this is a meta meta class there's they nerfed it substantially last patch but because they've nerfed every other class kind of equally as bad dragon knight is always tried and true this is going to be if you're good at the class you will always 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 have a place in this meta tier list either a or b and the magic of dragon knight this patch if you're running the proper building if you guys haven't checked it out already um <laughs> up there on your screen is a build video that i have that is completely revolutionized the dk and uh, i think you'll very very much enjoy it so that's magic of dragon knight stamina dragon knights uh you really don't have much variability with it and any stamina class just feels like any other stamina class in my opinion and i do think the magic of dragon knight does have a little bit of a leg up above the stamina dragon knight so i'm gonna put the stamina dragon knights in a tier just because you know both classes you know hybrids you know whatever has access to corrosive and corrosive is bar, bar none like the best ultimate in the entire game by far especially during this tank meta which we've imposed on ourselves all right there's gonna be another video about that another day about this 35k bs health cap you have to have in order to join a zerg i crap you not guys i tried to join a zerg the other day just to get my you know my, my tier 3 rewards and they wouldn't let me because i didn't have 35k health your boy horcrux could not join the zerglings oh man got me fired up there will, there will be a video about that at some point please hit the bell and like notifications you know just so you're notified when i drop that video because uh, it's going to be really really spicy just like these chips here uh these chips are really spicy after the pocky one chip challenge i uh yeah i, I kind of went overboard with the pocky stuff anyway all right next nightblade stamina nightblade in general so the stamina knight blade is very niche it's very very good in duels um it's pretty decent battlegrounds because you can just want to run up and one tap people and kind of get away you have a team to kind of reinforce you um but in open world it does struggle a little bit um as well as the magic knight blade does so um because of all the huge buffs to knight blade man the healing is absurd their survivability is crazy their burst is the highest of any class in the entire game right now so um normally i would put them in a meta class but i i, I think they're going to be teetering around a because you do have to be pretty decent at stamina nightblade in order to uh, pull the class off correctly even though when you get ganked it feels like it's very easy and cheesy but uh it's really really not once you start delving into the class all right and so this leads us into our magic and night blade and dueling uh you are the kings of dueling right now you outperform dk's you outperform templars which is absolutely unheard of you hit people with 20k bows consistently if they are not running rallying cry so you are the overlords and dueling battlegrounds i would even say you're very very strong again in open world you are going to struggle a little bit um but 
just because of your sheer amalgamation of damage and how easy it is to one tap people on the mag blade man i'm just gonna put that in meta tier right now because uh, this class is very very scary and i'm in the process of getting all of my undaunted passes and everything leveled up for the mag blade yes we'll have a mag blade build this patch so again hit the bell notification icon if you want to be notified when that video goes live and also when i actually go live as well i will be streaming three or four times a week if you want to see all my builds you know in, in action that's nah, a good place to kind of drop by say hello we have some good laughs drink a lot of booze you know all right so moving on into the necromancer class so Zoss did try to nerf solo play quite a bit. They uh, did nerf the occult overload CP passive to where you cannot have this cascading effect of just sheer destruction, death, and despair once you bomb people. But Magicka Necromancer, like it really doesn't matter. You don't need that passive per se because you're going to be running VD and DC. Um, now, you're amazing in open world just because you can bomb literally any group of people. This is the only class that can just, just, just crap on 20, 30 people at a time. You're amazing in battlegrounds, but you are pretty lackluster in duels, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you do have to run very niche builds and sets. Um, I did try some of the r r ritualist set. You have English hard, you're just, just stuttering on my R's, like I have, have an aneurysm right now. But uh, you can very, run some very niche built in duelings. Uh, for that reason, I'm probably going to put uh, a Magcro in the A tier overall. Kind of maybe a B plus tier if we hand it. But uh, if you guys will make your own tier maker, by the way, there's a link down in the description below. If you want to make your own, it should bring you to this page and then you can customize it how you want. Yeah, welcome. All right, Salmon Necromancer um, is pretty much a magic necromancer, except uh, your bombing is a little bit weird, and you do spin to win, plague break, you can do stuff like that. I mean, very, it feels very familiar. I mean, it feels pretty much identical to magic necromancer half the time. I can't even tell the difference. The only difference I uh, really can tell is one is dizzying swing spamming me or sci spamming me, and the other one is not. I do see a lot of mag crows. In the open world, I've yet to fine-tune my build for this patch, but I'm assuming it's going to be pretty much the exact same thing we've been running. Um, but uh, Stam Crows, uh, they're pretty strong if you don't know how to play around it. But uh, just for that reason, I don't see uh, too many of them. Uh, I don't play a lot of Stam Crows, so I'm not really sure where I want to place this guy. And I don't see a lot in Battlegrounds. Most of what I get dicked on is the uh, the macro bomb. So I'm going to put on B tier for right now. If you guys disagree please let me know down in the comments next is mag sork this is a trash tier class there's nothing going for it the class identity sucks this this class needs to have a complete and utter overhaul the amount of sustain you need is absolutely absurd the fact that if you're going to run wards you have to double bar sets which is going to completely destroy your efficiency when it comes to your slot economy and getting the most bang for your buck with the sets you're running like having to stack maximum magic is so bad and the only way you have access to a burst seal is running a pet and if you're in open world or battlegrounds that pet is going to get decimated really really quick it de definitely solo so and just not this class doesn't even burst that much everything can be dodge rolled the, the frag doesn't stun anymore it's like it's like what the, the frag doesn't hit for nothing guys i i don't like if you're gonna buff this class you need to make the echoing effect from vicious curse hit a lot harder you know kind of like subterranean salt you know from the wardens you know how, how it hits a lot harder on the second tick and you also need to do a flat damage buff to frags like like like, like, like straight up like it's it's a good class to just pick up and learn how to play, but uh, it's overall effectiveness and overall in open world BGs and solos is just pretty trash. All right, that's gonna lead us over into the stamina sork. Uh, man, I'm just gonna put these in C tiers because you pretty much your only one play style is just a one huge ass burst combo, and then you sit on your back bar. This doesn't matter if you're in duels, open world battlegrounds. It's literally the exact same thing. You do your burst combo and you sit on your back bar and you dark conversion and you roll three or four times dark conversion roll three or four times so you get your ultimate then then you try again it's a very lackluster class in my opinion it's not very fun to play you spend most of your time with buff like like buff management and it's it, it's just not a fun class uh, to play for me i mean you guys may find it enjoyable maybe there's a build I, i'm just i'm just not getting but that uh, stamp sort this patch feels very underwhelming so we put that guy in the seats here okay so the next class is the bane of my existence which is going to be the templar and for once guys i hate to say this but i feel really bad for templar backlash took a huge hit jabs got reworked magplar if it wasn't for the group utility 
in battlegrounds and open world i would put this guy down in c tier now there are some pretty decent range dueling builds you can run you know with the javelin meatball combo but uh guys i'm i'm actually going to put the magplar oh, man this is tough i'm probably gonna put them in the b tier like yeah the healing is still there it's still group good group utility but compared to what they used to be and the frequency you used to see them usually that's all you saw in the dueling arenas and battlegrounds it was it was terrible i mean th this may be underselling the 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 magplar a little bit but this class is nowhere as near dominant as it used to be now i can actually kill a decent templar on my dk like it's i mean this is good breath of fresh air for us dk mains but magplar mains you know pelican eso sorry man this sucks <laughs> and so that's gonna lead us into uh stamplar um i don't even think i've seen a stamplar man to be honest with you guys i don't i can't recall a time i've dueled a stamplar or seen a stamplar in battlegrounds i is this still a class i don't i, I don't know if there, there's stamplars even exist so I have nothing to base this. I have nothing to base my judgment off of. I, I really don't. So we're going to put it in C tier just because, yeah, we're going to put it in C tier because it's not going to heal your group up, you know, in group content. I'm sure it's going to suck solo as well. So uh, if you guys completely disagree, you have more information on this, I'm going to put it in C tier, man. I, yeah, I, I've never, yeah. All right. Last but certainly not least is the warden. So we're going to start with the, the stamina warden. Uh, they're pretty much the exact same thing as last patch like really nothing was changed so we're gonna toss them back down the beats here which we had them last patch but but the magical warden did get a thrifty little buff from the weapon skill line the uh, the ice wardens the lord warden as delty would say um the 10 percent overall increased damage you know on the class when you know rocking an ice staff is uh, not only noticeable in pv is noticeable in pve as well it's probably best in slot running double ice staffs i do enjoy the uh the changes instead of having to run dual wield um not sure why i placed magic warden's last patch um they're still not a meta tier they still do struggle in a lot of aspects especially when it comes to dueling um you pretty much have northern storm and uh you're just gonna run out of that if you are you know if, if you have thumbs and you're, you're you're not an absolute potato okay you're just gonna walk out of that and they're not gonna burst you nothing happens but in group play in open world you know battlegrounds this class is so dominant i see it in every single one of my battlegrounds you know with marcelix you know a bunch of brutal dot builds it's really really annoying it does offer a lot of group utility it tank everyone up you got some pseudo heals going on so i'm gonna place this in the a tier and guys this is going to complete my tier list i tried to keep this one nice short and spicy for you guys let me know if you agree down in the comments if you do not please argue with me help promote the youtube algorithm and guys don't forget like and sub and uh don't forget about the uh, patreon youtube you know a little little self shill here at the end of the video you've made this far uh, for real guys if you need help with literally anything hit me up in the discord and you can ask anyone who's been a member or been a member you know a patreon supporter i get back to everyone i help you with literally everything i'm not going to just be like yo you know what Here's the build, you know, good luck, have fun. I'm going to teach you exactly why the build works, how the build works, and why you should run it, what you can alter to your play style. It's not just going to be, you know, cut and paste, here you go. I actually take great pride in helping my, uh, well, I, I don't want to use the, the, the term students because it's a little derogatory, but I do help my supporters, you know, very, very in-depthly with any questions you may have. You may have a question at 2 a.m., you know, and if I'm up, I'm definitely going to answer it. So with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.